On April 2nd, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova criticized the lack of Western reaction to the death of Maxim Famin, the Russian pro-war military blogger who was killed earlier that day in an explosion in a St. Petersburg cafe. Referring to Famin as a war correspondent, Zaharova said, quote, Today, the lack of reaction from the White House, Downing Street, Elysee Palace, etc., given their ostensible concern for journalists' well-being, is self-revelatory. That is false. Faman, who blogged under the pseudonym Vladlin Tatarsky, was no war correspondent. Rather, he was a Kremlin propagandist who called for Ukraine's destruction and the murder of Ukrainians. His channel on the Telegram Messenger had more than 570,000 subscribers. In 2011, Faman was sentenced to 12 years in prison for armed bank robbery. In 2014, after Russia launched its clandestine military invasion of eastern Ukraine, Faman escaped from prison and joined pro-Russian militia the Donbass. Faman fully supported Russia's invasion of Ukraine, stating that its primary goal is the complete destruction of the Ukrainian state. Last September, he called for strikes to destroy power plants in Ukraine so that more Ukrainians would die in hospitals.